So let's talk a little bit about some facts to do with autism. The first fact I want to bring out is that autism is no longer rare. Whereas in the old days, it was thought to be very rare. For example, in the 1970s, if you picked up any textbook about autism, the figure that was quoted was 4 in 10,000 children. Today, we believe it's 1% of children, 1 in 100 children, will have a diagnosis on the autistic spectrum. So that big change in prevalence in how common it is, is probably mostly due to better recognition, better services, as well as broadening the diagnostic criteria to include Asperger's syndrome. The second uh, fact that is worth highlighting is that autism, uh, autism spectrum is no longer necessarily commonly associated with learning difficulties. So whereas in the old days it was said that three quarters of children with autism had below average IQ, today it may even be the reverse, that three quarters of children with autism have normal IQ, so they're in that high functioning subgroup, but we really don't know the exact figures, and that's why there's a great need for more research to understand the profile of the population. The other thing to highlight in terms of facts is that autism is different to many other disabilities because it doesn't just involve areas of difficulty, it also involves areas of strength. So whereas we think of many disorders as leading uh, in a very straightforward way to a pattern of difficulties, that autism is a mixed picture of both strengths and difficulties. And part of the message for educators is to consider how we can work with the strengths in order to overcome the difficulties. Some more facts, and that is that we now recognize autism is neurological. So it really is the result of atypical brain development. And it's important to underline this because in the bad old days, parents often felt to blame for their child's behavior as if they had done something wrong in not bringing up their child in the correct way.